just took the MCAT practice exam and I want to talk about analyzing text. I love English, which I think is kind of surprising for pre-med students, but I took AP Literature and Language in high school and have taken a couple of English classes as well as like women's studies and cultural anthropology and stuff like that that really emphasizes analyzing text and understanding context clues and I think that that understanding can change the way that you read books and watch movies and listen to music for the rest of your life but also if you want to crush cars on the MCAT I think it is a super good idea to have an understanding of how to analyze text so I have a couple of tips for you if you are taking the MCAT really really soon this first method there's like three big tips that you can implement right now and and then if you have a little bit of extra time, there are some longer tips for you as well. So if you're taking it soon or you want to get better at analyzing text right now, I think the two most important things are understanding the conversation that's happening and noting transitions. So as far as conversation goes, this would be like what the author is saying and who is saying something against that or what kind of groups are going against what the author is saying or what the subject of the text is saying. Usually there is some sort of conflict in text and so I would note that. Note what the conflict is. Usually there's arguments presented. I would note the arguments. So basically you want to figure out who is saying what, who is saying something against that. Those are important. Another thing that's important is figuring out how the author feels about what they're talking about. Understanding opinion is super important. Sometimes it's explicitly stated to you, but a lot of the times you can figure out how the author feels based on the words that they use. And so my tips for that are be dramatic. Be so dramatic. If somebody says something to you, you need to be very, very nitpicky about it and figure out exactly what every single word means, okay? So like be the girl, that that's me actually. The problem with taking all of these classes is when you text me, I will analyze every word just like this. So understand like the tone and the passion behind the words because different words that mean the same thing have different tones and that changes the meaning of things. Does that make sense? So I could say somebody is like kind of smart, I could say somebody is smart, or I could say that somebody is wildly intelligent and that is like increasingly positive. So figuring out what the author feels based on the words that they use and being dramatic and nitpicky that's super important if you identify something where they're like oh yeah like they're so-called intelligence for the rest of the passage i would just recommend reading it dramatically from a very critical standpoint like be the author feel what the author feels and like adopt their tone of voice when you're reading it because that can really help you understand like what they mean when they say things because tone means so much what I mean when I say noting conversations and figure out what is happening, then there is a book called They Say I Say by Graf and Birkenstein that if you have some extra time, I would recommend reading. But basically understanding who's saying what, again, who is going against that, but also figuring out what the argument is and what that says and what it does not say. Because a lot of the times questions surrounding textual analysis is like, okay, what strengthens this argument and what takes away from it, but what does it not say? Because that is important too, is like understanding what is being said and what's not. So that will probably be tested as as well. Um, and then the second point that I mentioned is transitions and turning points. Um, noting transitions and figuring out where the author like changes paths or where the author introduces a super new topic. Usually those things are important and I would make note of them. If you have some very, very specific questions about analyzing text, there is a YouTube channel that I will put in the description. Um, Matthew Singleton does a really, really, really good job at explaining analyzing texts and like AP concepts and don't don't feel bad that you're watching high school AP videos to understand analyzing text because it's very helpful and it will help you right away if you have a little bit longer I would recommend a picking up a copy of this or trying to find some excerpts of They Say I Say or something similar to that, I will link both of these books in the description. And then also How to Read Literature Like a Professor. This is a super fun read actually and it will change the way that you watch movies and hear music 
hear music, listen to music and read books forever. Like every weather thing ever means something now to me. So that's by Thomas C. Foster. Again, you should totally read those if you have a little bit of extra time. I also, the best way to get good at analyzing text is by analyzing text. I would recommend printing off scholarly articles. Um, they don't have to be like research articles, but like essays and critiques and like letters from Birmingham jail by Martin Luther King Jr. is a good place to start and just analyze what they're saying and how they're saying it and what the words they mean what the words they're saying mean and why they use them and just be super dramatic and critical about everything I would mark it up so just go through and like every word means something and like why did they use this word instead of this word like be very 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 critical and dramatic when you're analyzing the text because it makes it a lot easier to figure out what the author is saying I would do this with a lot of essays if you haven't if you haven't analyzed text very, very intensely in the past, I would recommend printing off a couple and working on them every day so you can start to get an idea of what that's like. Um, also, you can do practice um, AP Lit and AP Lang exams. You can find them online. There's a link to one in the description. The multiple choice ones are it's just analyzing text and figuring out what the author is saying. So I would practice with those if you have a little bit of extra time, but basically you just need to gain an understanding of how to read text because it's not just reading anymore like analyzing text is a very different kind of reading it's very active it's very engaged and it's very very critical and so i would recommend um, practicing a lot if you have time read these books check out the youtube channel in the description and if you have any more questions about analyzing text I'm sure I can get some information together for you. Good luck on your cars, everyone. You're gonna crush it, okay? I don't know anything about real cars, but I can tell you all day, all day about how to analyze text. Okay, have the best day. Good luck on your MCAT. You're gonna crush it. I know it. Bye.